So the 10 petals um, <clears throat> is a practice that sort of occurred to me as I was exploring my own practice in mindfulness, uh, as I said last summer. Um, and it wasn't so much um, a practice of, of trying to figure it out intellectually, but it's one that manifested and arose just naturally. And I interrogated this practice many times, the sequence of stages that kept arising, even when my own mind was like, this order doesn't seem right to my mind, to my intellect, in terms of experiences, going from an embodiment to an identification with qualities to relinquishing the identification and into simply qualities themselves. And uh, every time I tried to kind of reconfigure it to an older way of knowing or sort of more of a logical way, uh, the inner kind of guidance was like, yeah, no, that's not it. I know what you're trying to do, and that's not it. <laughs> so, um, so this is pretty much the practice as it arose for me in in uh, in order of how it came. And uh, there's really no magic to this. This isn't really something that maybe we haven't heard before, but perhaps it's kind of a new approach, a new kind of configuration of how to think in a conceptual way about the stages moving from embodiment and distraction to <clears throat> a state in which we are really fully sort of open and imbued with clarity, with spaciousness, and ultimately with a natural awareness that is at the center of our experience. So there are 10 stages, 10 qualities, each one representing one of the petals. So if you think about a petal, uh, petals on a flower, uh, I'm gonna share screen with you and I'll show you kind of this was, some of you have seen this before, some of you have not, but this is how the um, image sort of arose here. If you can see this very rudimentary drawing of this flower, um, this was in the moment, this was, as it happened for me to kind of get a sense of what was unfolding petal by petal. And as you may be able to see, there are five petals underneath sort of at the bottom and then five petals on top of the initial five. Um, and so there is kind of this um, process of the first five of these 10 petals representing basically basic mindfulness states. One is neutrality, a sense of evenness of mind, what we might also call equanimity. Two, a sense of receptivity, that the neutrality, the stability of mind actually helps to open us to become more receptive of the location of our practice, of where we are, of the sounds around us, and even the thoughts within us just being receptive, right? An attitude of allowing uh, things to be as they are. And then it becomes easier to then progress into the state of stillness of a mind that is starting to settle with neutrality, receptivity as the foundations and a sense of uh, sort of, of calm abiding, of uh, abiding in a mind that is um, largely beginning to, to find its own way to peace, to quiet. And then the fourth petal here being present, really acknowledging and opening to where you are at any moment, which is the reality. It's the reality of our experience that we are here. Even if the mind is drifting into the past or the future, it's all happening now. Even that drifting, even that, that sort of worry about the future, or ruminating on the past is all happening now. So we're opening to reality in this moment. And then finally, number five, quality of effortlessness, that being fully present, being still and present opens us to relinquishing all the striving, all the trying and opening to simply abiding in an effortless way. And with these initial five qualities, these initial five 
um, petals, if you will. We have a really um, sort of a very wholesome, beneficial foundation to continue practicing with subtler levels. So whereas these first five are basically mindfulness practices, aspects of mindful abiding, then the second five, the upper petals, if you will, are qualities of presence, qualities of awareness, cultivating a refinement of consciousness and attunement of awareness. And so here, coming out of the sense of effortlessness, we can begin to recognize a mind that is actually quite bright. The mind itself is, is clear and vivid. Actually, the clarity comes a few stages away. But luminosity here is sort of a radiance of your own awareness, um, a brightness, if you will. And what that does is uh, expand out into a sense of spaciousness, a mind that is also uh, boundlessly open, spacious, like open sky mind. You have brightness, you have spaciousness. And within that, you have clarity. You have a sense of of not so much replacing a busy, cluttered mind with clarity, but rather bringing clarity to the clutter, to the thoughts. Yeah. And then from clarity comes, uh, out of that comes this sort of warmth of, of being loving, of compassion, if you will, of kindness, um, the aspiration to relate with an awareness that is is directly from the heart. And so with all of these supporting your practice, the 10th petal is that of being awake, is that of being uh, embodying all of these qualities in one moment of practice and not even discriminating between them, but they have, they have simply set the pathway forward and allow you to, to be imprinted once we reach this 10th stage to just abide in a way the mind is clear, lucid, awake in many ways. So it's in many ways, this is a practice of what we might call awakening. Now, there are <clears throat> sort of three cycles to this. <clears throat> and as we do the practice, the first cycle is simply to embody these qualities. So it's a felt sense. Um, allowing the body to express each one uh, as well as receive each quality. So as we begin, and I'll guide you through this in a moment, we embody neutrality. We feel it in the physical body. Perhaps the spine itself becomes that stability, that neutrality. The receptivity, a softening of our outward directed sort of assertions and projections and rather just allowing things to be as they are, being receptive to even our own thoughts and our feelings without judgment. Just these two allows the mind to quiet. A sense of stillness can arise naturally here. And embodying this, so feeling it in the physical body, feeling stillness in your hands, feeling stillness in the spine, in the body overall, as if you are a statue, if you, as if you are a mountain or a statue on a mountain overlooking a, a beautiful sort of misty ravine, if you will. But the point here is um, embodying stillness and then feeling the present through your body, embodying the present just as it is, embodying effortlessness, embodying luminosity, that as we abide in this body, we can be radiant, abiding in spaciousness, just feeling that there is no boundary between inside and outside, that the body itself is open, embodying clarity in that spaciousness, and then feeling yourself within the body being loving and ultimately awake. And then, so as we do this, the first cycle here is that of uh, embodying. I embody neutrality. I embody receptivity. The second cycle then moves us through uh, sort of an identification, so a sense of opening ourselves to these, these uh, qualities, such as I am neutral, I am receptive, like an affirmation or a mantra, if you will. 
I am effortless. I am clarity. Last week, I believe it was last week, we did the I am meditation. I am, and I ask you to sort of fill in the blank, right? Until we drop the qualifier and we just simply are. We just say, I am, period. So here, there is some identification with these wholesome states. And actually, we're not identifying with something outside of ourselves. But all of these are present already at the heart of our own awareness, the nature of mind, the underlying nature of mind. And then as we move from I am, we simply relinquish even that identification. And as in the identity then dissolves and we simply affirm neutrality. We become the quality. We don't identify with it. We don't embody it. We do those things, but we're ultimately letting go of, uh, of all of that uh, sort of cognitive clinging to it and just acknowledging effortlessness, spaciousness. These qualities here take on a universal quality. It's not just me being effortless, but effortlessness is a quality of the universe, if you will, of life. Of, of flow, if you will, of processes, right? So it's no longer about me, this small I, but rather this universal process of effortlessness. Um, so this is uh, 10 petals. What is the point, right? What is, why would we want to do, go through this? And simply, this is a, uh, a tool in our toolkit. Um, that moves us steadily from uh, sort of this physical embodied world to a quality of being awake at the heart of our awareness. So these three cycles of these 10 qualities. Um, this practice of the 10 petals, and I'll guide you through it. Um, the, uh, the first two, so the first uh, cycle, the embodiment cycle, I'll, I do more guidance. The second cycle, there's a little less guidance. There is simply the statement, I am effortless, or I am present. And the third is even more simple. It's just, I will name, I will just say stillness. And for you sort of here the prompt is it's not just stillness within me it is stillness everywhere yeah the sense of that personal i sort of opens almost as if it is dissolving into this universal quality 